Now, if you follow this channel for a while, you know that I really believe that the things that you buy and that you do in your life kind of define who you are. But just as important are the things that you don't do and that you don't buy. Hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today, Leah and I are going to be talking about the things that we do not buy which is a little different and took a little bit of thinking to wrap my head around that idea, but we're excited to share it with all of you. If you're new here, Levi and I try and live as much of a zero waste and minimalist lifestyle as we can, but obviously mm -hmm. we're not perfect, you know? Surprisingly, yeah. Surprisingly, I know, you would like to think otherwise. So we're hoping that by us sharing what we don't buy, we can actually help folks figure out, you know, what'll work for you. Yeah, what you also don't need to buy. <laughs> and the first ones exist in the kitchen, so, Let's get into that. To the kitchen. Okay, so the first thing on our list is paper towels. Because I had a tremendous message from somebody that absolutely blew my mind. This is a real text message that I received from somebody on Instagram, and this was my response. Now, I feel a little bad, but like... <laughs> It was also like blatantly obvious. The answer to your question was in the question. <laughs> I think this is such a great illustration of just how baked into our culture disposability is. We don't even realize that paper towels came from towel towels. Now, to be clear, we have had this roll of paper towel for years. A couple years. But at the same time, we have old towels that we have cut up and we use those as rags. So these towels are actually leftovers from when I made the Tushy Bidet towels. And this was just like a scrap end that we didn't know what to do with. So now we yeah. use it if we need to clean up a rowdy mess. Yeah. A rowdy mess? Like what? <laughs> People are really concerned. <laughs> what? What? Okay, so that was one of the most baffling things that I have received in a DM recently. But there's another thing that I've never quite understood in my heart, and that is garbage bags and compost bags. Now, construction sounds <laughs> in the house. Construction sounds. <laughs> okay, so these are our compost and garbage bins. Inside our garbage bin is our bag, which we reuse every single time we have to unload our garbage. We just dump the contents of the bag into the larger bin, and then we put the bag back into this tiny bin to then fill with more garbage. The reason why we can use this bag over and over again is because of our compost. So our compost bin is where we put all of our food scraps, as you can see here. Oh, and sad flowers. Bye, roses. <laughs> we made sure to buy a steel container for our compost just because it helps reduce the amount of smell that you get off of your food waste, because food waste does smell. We also make sure to take it out a lot. We empty this probably at least once a week. The reason why people buy compost bags is to get rid of the mess and the smell of compost, I think. But what we do instead is we take paper bags like this from takeout or from bakery buns that we buy and we just rip it up and put it into the bottom of the bin so that it doesn't stick and it doesn't congeal down at the bottom. So Leah and I benefit from having compost pick up in our apartment building, and that's obviously a huge luxury because we can A, compost all kinds of stuff that you can't in your backyard compost, but it also means you don't have to deal with your compost, which is really awesome. Maybe one day we'll, we'll, we'll do our own composting. Whoa. Do you think we can figure it out? I think so. We could do it. She's extremely confident though. <laughs> Welcome team to our walk-in closet. <laughs> We're people with a walk-in closet now. So this room contains all of our clothing, but one thing that we have stopped buying is graphic t-shirts or graphic clothing in general. Wow. Except for... <laughs> <laughs> Except for the, um, the Levi's t-shirts, which Leah has a matching one, um, were given to us kind of as a joke. And the reason why is because they go out of style more quickly. I don't wear the amazing tiger shirts that we did when Leah and I first started dating. <gasps> oh, that tiger shirt. Go to your pheasant shirt. Oh, or my so... eagle shirt. Or your eagle shirt. Wow, or your electric unicorn shirt. You had a lot of mystical animals on there. 
Were those shirts like a turn on or a turn off for you? You weren't wearing them when we met. You <laughs> pulled them out after I already liked you. So... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Trap them. Bring out the weird shirts later. I think we've talked enough. It's been enough time. I spent enough time in the closet. I'm out now. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> damn. See what she did there? So I debated putting this on the list because I wasn't sure how this was going to go. But the fourth thing on our list that we don't buy anymore. It's condoms. <laughs> it's condoms. We don't we don't buy them anymore. It's funny because literally today I am teaching a group of 13 year olds how to use condoms effectively. But we don't do that anymore. So the reason why we don't use condoms is because we're pregnant! No! no just kidding! Don't! Just kidding. Oh my just god, kidding. can you imagine? No. <laughs> so the reason that we don't use condoms, either external that goes on a penis or internal that goes in the vagina, is because I have an IUD. So in terms of pregnancy, we're not concerned about it. This is uh, a part of a much longer conversation that Leah and I have on her podcast, which is going to be coming out very soon. We talk about bisexuality, how to be a good ally, especially as a straight white dude. Got that bi-wife energy going on. Bi-wife energy. We have actually had a number of questions from people messaging me, both me and Leah, mm -hmm. asking about condoms like they're a wasteful product because they're single use um but i would say if birth control of some kind if either in the form of a pill or iud does not work for you and your body's physiology you should use a condom like don't risk pregnancy for the sake of the planet like you should be able to manage that in a way that's safe for you the thing that's also true about condoms is that they protect against stis which lots of other forms mm -hmm. of contraception don't levi and i are just having sex with each other and we know we don't have any stis <laughs> so we're not using them <laughs> also, before we go any further, I want to remind you that if you are enjoying this video and you enjoy the content that Leah and I have been putting out lately, that you should like this video and that you should subscribe to the channel. Um, we donate 100% of all the AdSense revenue that this channel generates. Uh, most recently, we planted over 10 thousand trees thanks to everybody who liked that video and shared it around so just by being here being a part of the team you're making great stuff happen so thank you for being here and we got to donate four thousand dollars to save old growth trees awesome Absolutely. and you are the reason we were able to do that you're awesome thank you no you're awesome Levi. no you're mm -hmm. awesome no you have to be able to like throw your voice more like ah, i was doing a good job i <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have been using bar soap instead of bottled soap for as many things as we possibly can. And when we don't use bar soap, we refill containers like this from our zero waste refill store here in town. But for most people, the bar soap option is going to be the thing that you can find the most easily because bar soap's everywhere. It's usually locally made. It's made with natural ingredients and it is kind of funky and cool looking. Look at that. I think that one's like honey oat, right? Give it a sniff. I have no idea what that smells like. <laughs> it smells nice. It doesn't smell bad, no. <laughs> I do not have COVID, I can smell that. So this is the best soap dish we've been able to find. You see, it's got those little ridges so the water doesn't pool up and make the soap all soggy. But sadly, we just really haven't found a great soap dish yet. Our life is so hard because we cannot find that great soap dish. Okay, and we've but been it trying. Would, it we've wouldn't be trying. an issue if you wouldn't leave the soap all wet and soggy in the I dish, don't. which I builds can't. up and makes it. The sixth thing that we don't buy anymore is salad dressing. It is surprisingly easy to make your own salad dressing at home, and I'm going to show you how right now. Cooking with Levi. So we usually go with a balsamic as our acid, but you could use lemon or apple cider vinegar or anything that's kind of acidic. Pour a little bit in at the bottom, match that with olive oil, pepper, salt, a bit of grinding noise from the construction, <laughs> a spoonful of Dijon mustard, and a pinch of brown sugar. Put your lid on your mason jar, shake it up, and uh, 
you're done. And you can use this and augment this in a bunch of different ways. I know that my dad likes to cut up cilantro and garlic and add it into a salad dressing like this, which is a whole other level, but this is really easy, literally. The camera's recording, that didn't even take me two minutes to intro, demonstrate, and complete this salad dressing. Oh, and uh, that sort of intros nicely into our last thing that we don't buy right now. Salad greens! Yay! But to show you fully, we have to take you up to the rooftop. So, if you uh, followed us for a little while, you know that we've recently moved into our first home. And this is the rooftop area where our garden plot is that comes with our unit. So this is our garden plot. Oh. Look at this thing. We are farmers, my love. Oh, we did good. <laughs> wow. Okay, so obviously we're not full-blown farmers, but literally as soon as summer is even close to starting, we stop buying greens for ourselves whenever possible because we grow them here and at our community garden box. Growing your own food is not only really cheap, but it's really satisfying and rewarding. Like this is our little garden baby and we get to nurture it and feel some sort of satisfaction and connection to the food that we eat, so. This is our most accessible so far. Yeah, this is, this, honestly, we are kind of blown away by how well this is doing this yeah, year. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> so if you're at all interested in the plants that we grow, both in our apartment and in our garden boxes, let us know down in the comments because we're considering making like a house plant tour video with the bonus rooftop and community garden as a part of that. We're all about um, that garden content. Yeah, we, we, we could get into garden content. We'll if you want it. garden content, we can do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so that's a rough list of some of the things that we don't buy. Obviously, as we mentioned, there's a bunch of other things. Uh, let us know if you'd be interested in knowing about more of them. Yeah, once we started brainstorming things that we don't buy, the list was actually quite long. It was hard to choose like what to share in this video. If you are looking for more cool, easy ways to make an impact in your life, I'm going to be releasing an ebook later this year. Leah read it and she said it was really great. It was really good. <laughs> like I'm, I'm a pretty tough critic because I read a lot and it's really great. It's super conversational and accessible and helpful, beyond helpful. Wow, okay, like I actually didn't pay her to say that. That was like a <laughs> super glowing review. I hope I can actually live up to that when other people read it. Either way, if you are interested in uh, that ebook, um, I'll leave a link to our newsletter down below where people are gonna get a quick discount on it when it goes live, um, if you are part of the newsletter gang. And uh, regardless of that, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one, right? Say that at lightning speed. Make sure you subscribe, make you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. That was you. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. That review was actually bananas. That was Good. like, do you actually mean that though? No, I absolutely Come mean on. that. What, what, would I have said that if I didn't mean it? Well, I don't know. Like, I'm paying you to say it. Well, you're not paying me enough. Like, not for that <laughs> glowing of a review. <laughs>